KK Java tutorials. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to add Maven's settings.xml file in Eclipse. Yeah, so let's just start. So, guys, as you know, once you download uh, Maven uh, binary from uh, official website, then you have uh, you have to extract it, right? So we get the downloaded binary in zip format. So you have to extract, and then you'll get this kind of folder structure. So if you go to the Maven directory, then you get the conf folder and here you get the uh, settings.xml so whatever changes you have to do in settings.xml don't do right away in this installation directory because uh, when you work in any industry there is a possibility more than one user uh, are using a uh, same as uh, this uh, global settings.xml if you if you make changes over here then uh, that may impact the some other user as well so what you can do you can copy this uh, settings.xml and go to the inside the your user and there you'll get dot m2 directory here you'll get the repository which is created by the maven first time when you run any kind of goal right and within that you'll get all kind of repository has been downloaded from a uh, remote central or uh, uh, remote central uh, repository and that is going to dump over here so what you have to do is just you have to copy your settings.xml over here and do the required change right in this settings.xml in settings.xml you, you may change you may uh, do a lot of changes like uh, as you know a local repository of maven is uh, inside the m2 dot m2 directory you have a repository but if you want to change this default behavior then setting.xml you have a tag is called a local repository just you can specify local repository or custom path once you specify that one uh, and once you configure the settings.xml in uh, Eclipse, then Maven is going to download all the repository on the custom location, right? Then you, you can specify plugin groups as well. There you can register all the plugin ID, right? So once you start building, then Maven will uh, basically try to download all the registered plugin. Apart from that, you can specify proxies server. So if you are working in any industry, then there is possibility some of the dependency uh, cannot be downloaded by the Maven because of the some firewall restriction. So you can specify some proxy de proxy server detail, uh, which will which which will bypass the proxy restrictions and that will download the uh, uh, required artifacts from the central repository. Apart from that, you can uh, also configure like servers like uh, uh, HVN server details or build server or remote repository servers. If you have uh, some kind of uh, private repository, then you need to uh, configure those kind of repository in settings.xml with the required credential like username password apart from that you can also configure profiles for different environment like for dev or prod or test environment right so once you do the these settings so then then this settings.xml you need to configure in uh, your uh, eclipse so what you have to do you have to go to the eclipse go to the windows then preferences and here you need to type maven right just type maven then you'll get this user setting user settings just you you need to browse that settings.xml so click on the browse and select this path click on open and don't forget forget to click on update settings all right once you click on the update settings so already i had configured earlier that's why this is not asking me conf uh, uh, confirmation so let me browse once again once you browse then click on the this uh, update so this will ask you one uh, confirmation one pop-up uh, will come out and that will ask for the confirmation so click on the ok and then after cl click on apply apply close and you are done so whatever settings you have done in the settings.xml then that is going to pick up by the your eclipse while building your project right so that's all i wanted to discuss in this video tutorial guys if you really like this video then hit on the like button didn't subscribe kk java tutorial till it then please go ahead and subscribe yes thank you